All right, now I'm gonna tap into the uh, uh, auxiliary input connection for the rear monitor, which is behind this panel. So I need to pop up this cup holder and some of the garnishes over here to get access to that connection. Okay, and this panel. Oh, there you go. Brow is video plus. And do a little bit of electrical tape to get that. Slide back the tubing a bit. Oh, we don't cut any wire there. That's B for the uh, video plus. Okay, brown video plus. to pull out this panel I have to remove the center console box and this trim before I can pull out this trim
slide it back far enough so I have clearance to remove this trim over here. Send the console off, got this trim off, I run this RCA cable up to here. Now I need to pop up this panel to get into this uh, DVD connection and make it easier for me to run this cable up there too. I need to put a combi meter garnish off too. And this panel, one, two, screw, three, screw. pull out this panel I have to remove this combi meter garnish combi meter garnish this control panel I pop up a little bit in order to pull out this uh, in order to pull out the combi meter garnish then I had to drop this panel out again the two bolt at the bottom there and clips on top. I'm gonna pull that out in order to pull out this panel. There you go. Yeah. Well, it's being in the butt, but I'm gonna do it. Okay, now I got everything ready. My rear monitor, RCA cable running up. I have the radio, rear monitor, oh, you can read the letters I wrote there, and that's it, so uh, that's my installation. So in the back I have to change the input to video. Then there you go. The rear monitor is working together with the front. So everybody can watch from the back seats. Hey Siri. Play some music. Here's some music from your library. <laughs> <laughs> 